Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna test out popular viral Korean like Asian skincare products to see if they're worth the hype or not. I did like a little skincare haul recently in one of my vlogs, although I don't know if that vlog is up yet. <laughs> but I'm just gonna test them out, show you the application, and just give you my initial thoughts. But as I'm filming this now, I've already been using these products for like a week, so I'll let you guys know how I feel about them. I also have a few things that I've already tested out in a previous video like this one but I'm gonna give you an update of how I like it because I liked it enough to repurchase it so I'll tell you guys like my long-term review of those. If you like skincare videos, make sure you hit the like button and let's get started. First, I have this cleansing milk. This is the Dewey Tree High Amino Cleansing Milk. I don't know if you guys have seen but there's been a lot of videos about cleansing milks lately <laughs> And they're basically just like you have to try it because it's so gentle and it doesn't strip your skin so if you have dry skin you basically need to try this literally feels like a lotion and i have used cleansers that don't foam up before from like cerave and cetaphil before but this is like a very interesting consistency it's like a very thin lotion and i do really like this for a morning cleanse or like a midday cleanse when you just want to like take off your makeup or your sunscreen but you don't want to like strip your skin i feel like this is really nice it's the most like hydrating or like moisturizing cleanser I've ever used because when I use the ones from CeraVe or Cetaphil, my skin will still feel like kind of dry and stripped sometimes but with this, it really feels like hydrated and like not dry at all but I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it I will definitely use this up but the consistency kind of weirds me out and I just don't know if it's cleansing my face like enough and that's why I said I like it for morning. I also feel like I have to use like 3-4 pumps of this because I'm so like weirded out by the consistency of it. So I'm not sure if you would like it if you have like oily skin to normal skin. But I like the packaging. I like the concept of a cleansing milk and I will definitely use this up. Okay, next is like the most popular toner. <laughs> it's the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Toner. I really want to get into more rice skincare products because rice is apparently really good for your skin. This is such an interesting consistency. It's more bouncy and thicker than other than other toners I've used, even like other Korean or Asian toners. It feels more like a mix between a water toner and like a gel, but it's nice. I feel like if it's summer or if you're traveling to somewhere really hot and humid, you can just throw this on by itself but apparently this has really good ingredients for your skin i'll try to put like text up of what it's supposed to do because i don't actually know but i've only been using it for a week so i haven't noticed like a huge difference i do love the application though it just feels really nice and refreshing and it glides on well and it's not greasy at all which i really like okay next is the numbuzin serum i have number five goodbye blemish i don't know if you guys have seen those viral videos of those girls who have like perfect skin and they were like yeah the only thing i use is the numbuzin um serum and the numbuzin moisturizer or cream and so this is basically why I got it <laughs> and I'm actually gonna do an entire video just reviewing these and using them for a whole week to see if it does anything but so far this gel serum I do like I don't know if it's gonna have any good like long-term effects but I like the consistency again it's like just a nice gel and it's not greasy and I feel like that's mostly what I need also I use two pumps but I feel like you can probably get away with one and then this cream it's not greasy like it is again very nice like lotiony texture but it's very moisturizing and I've realized that I don't need to use as much as I thought so um, again, not sure what the long-term effects will be, but but as far as like the first application and the first week of using it, I do really like it. I don't know if it's gonna be like worth it necessarily in the long run because it is kind of like a smaller one. And then I have the Cosrx Snail Cream and I did an entire video on this. It's a really weird goopy consistency, but I really like it. It's my favorite gel moisturizer and I've used this for like six weeks, so I can say that this is definitely worth it okay it is the next week and the reason i'm back is because i got this in the mail this is the beauty of josun retinol eye cream with ginseng and i really wanted it to be a part of this video <laughs> so i delayed the video and i wanted to kind of show you guys so this is supposed to have like a derivative of retinol and it's supposed to be really good for like helping with fine lines and anti-aging and 
brightening your under eye. I really like the consistency of this. It's like a very thin serum and it glides on really well. It's got like a bright yellow color, which I thought was interesting. First impressions, I like the way it applies and the texture, but I don't know if I noticed like a huge difference. I think other people said they saw this like huge dramatic difference, but I didn't really. And I think the reason is because I'm already using this, this eye cream, which made like the biggest difference it basically like got rid of my fine lines and brightened all overnight and so because i've been using this still i just feel like this didn't give me like that huge dramatic like result of getting rid of my dark circles because this already did that but i do really love the texture i like the price point and i love the packaging i think it's really cute i like the pump it's like really easy and hygienic I also think it's like so cute for traveling so I do think I will continue to try this out. First impression I feel like it's not like anything crazy but I want to know if like long term it'll give me really good results or something. So I'll keep using this and I'll probably update you in a vlog. Yeah, I just wanted to pop back in to say that. Okay now I'm gonna do like my repurchase. It's not like my first time testing it out but I can tell you in the long term if it is worth it or not. First is this cleanser. It's the Hada Labo Foaming Cleanser. Okay. Wait, I'll be right back. I have to say, this is my favorite foaming cleansers of all time. It comes out pre-foam, which saves time. It's very moisturizing, but it's very cleansing at the same time. Like, it's gonna remove everything, but your skin will feel really nice and soft. I don't love the packaging. I mean, it's cute. I just don't love it. I don't know why. But I like it so much that I repurchased it, and I got a refill pack, because <laughs> it is literally my favorite. I think I'm gonna keep repurchasing this until I find like something better but I don't think I'll repurchase this because I want to try this CeraVe like, into foam cleanser really badly and I want to see if I like that better so this is definitely worth it and you should definitely try this out if you haven't the next one is the Essence Sun Milk the original formula was probably like my top two favorite sunscreens of all time that I've ever used and that's what I was hoping for because it was like a runny, milky, like liquidy sunscreen consistency and I just loved it. I felt like it was perfect for normal dry and oily skin because it was literally just like a watery sun milk and it just blends in really well. There's no white cast, there's no weird smells, it's not greasy and it was just like oh, so good. But they reformulated unfortunately and now it is like thicker so I don't like it as much and I'm really sad and I just really wish they would bring the old formula back because I feel like this is more greasy so I don't think you'll like it if you are oily. I think normal to dry you could get away with it but when you first apply it, it just doesn't feel like it feels greasy and you have to wait like 5-10 minutes for the greasiness to go away. So I probably won't be repurchasing this and I'm really sad but it's okay. And then... I got the Beauty of Josun sunscreen again, the rice probiotic one. So I used up an entire tub of this already and I really liked it. In my initial review, I said it was too greasy, but I think it was one of the hottest days of the year and I think that's why I thought that. But I used this throughout winter and like fall, spring, and now I'm using it again in the summer and I do love it. It is really worth the hype. Again, no weird smells, no white cast, blends in really well. It's like a nice gel, it's pretty cooling. And I got a two pack of it, so I really love it and I definitely think this is worth it. So you should try this. Okay, that's it for today's video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the like button. Let me know what you wanna see next and I'll see you next time. Bye.